Hey guys, Nat and Tiffany here from The Dwelling. Hola. Um, <laughs> we are happy to be with you today. We pray that you are safe at home, social distancing from everyone. Um, since we have four kids, life here is actually probably crazier than it normally would be if it weren't for this coronavirus pandemic, but we are making the best of it and just trying to remember that um, the days are long, but the years are short. So we're going to try to soak it in as much as we can. Um, we're happy to be here with you today and um, we've been spending some time in God's word. So, so guys, this is uh, week two and I think day six of, of week two. So I forget which day that is in total. I'm doing math. Um, but of our, our series, Light in the, in the Darkness. So if you've been following along with us uh, on this Bible reading plan, and which I hope you guys are at home, um, today it's uh, Matthew chapter 1, uh, verse 1 through 16. So in there, uh, in, in Matthew, it's just showing us the lineage, uh, all the way from Abraham, all the way through David, and then on to, to Joseph and Mary and, and Jesus. So um, as we read that, we kind of wonder, you know, why, why are we... Um, seeing all this lineage, right? It just looks like a lot of names, a lot of names listed, but really we're seeing God's promises fulfilled. Um, and God's just showing us how good he is. God's just showing us really um, that we can trust him, that we can put our faith in him. God's just fulfilling now his promise through Jesus Christ. So as, as we look through that and read through that, um, it really just reminds us of how good God is and that he will, will always keep his promises. And so we just uh, now want to just sing the song to you guys, uh, or hopefully you guys sing along. Good, good father. Um, yeah.
for this time, Lord, that we can take a break from whatever crazy is going on around us, or maybe our homes are still and quiet right now, and the crazy is all on the news and the media. Um, Lord, no matter what it is, we just thank you that you are a good, good father, and that we can come to you in the midst of our fears, in the midst of our anxiety, in the midst of our joy, um, and we can just lay it all at your feet because you have always had a plan for us, Father. You've always had our best interest in mind. You've always known that you were going to send your son Jesus into this world to be our Savior. You knew that you were going to send the Holy Spirit upon us to be our helper, and we just pray, Lord, um, that you would just pour out all of that upon us right now, Lord, and fill us up with you so much so that the fear and the anxiety, the frustration, the hopelessness, that all of that is just suffocated by the love and the joy and the peace that comes from knowing you, Father. And we just surrender it all to you right now. We thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. In your holy name we pray. Amen. hope that we get to see you guys real soon in person but until then god bless you guys have a great night have a great day in the lord see you soon